Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I want to talk about the most popular rifle ever, the Ruger 1022, made in the United States. This is my deluxe Sportster model, uh, made out of, uh, with the stock of um, walnut. I've made some modifications to this rifle. I have added tag sights. I also had a bolt release installed in this rifle that allows you to release the bolt from the handle in addition to the bolt release down here. The Ruger 1022 comes with a 10 round rotary magazine. The nice thing about the rotary magazine is it fits flush in the bottom of the rifle. This is a great rifle. It is a great uh, training rifle not only for youngsters but also for adults because the 22 long rifle is a very inexpensive round and you can get them for less than a nickel a piece compared to like 50 cents or more a piece for your 30 calibers. Um, and all of the uh, principles of marksmanship that you learn on a 22 will apply to a larger caliber rifle uh, such as a 30 out 6 or a 308. And that's the reason that Appleseed we use the uh, 22 for most of our um, marksmanship training. Uh, we shoot on a, a typical weekend, we'll shoot 500 rounds or more, and you can imagine that could be very expensive with your 30 caliber. Uh, we also have long distance ranges, but we start people off on the 22 because you can learn everything about the steady hold factors, trigger control, um, everything on a 22 at a 25 yard range and then you can transfer that information to a larger rifle. Uh, this is my um, older Ruger, Ruger 1022 but today in particular I want to talk about my brand new Ruger uh, 1022. Now I just got this rifle yesterday I haven't had a chance to make a lot of uh, uh, modifications to it. Um, this is the bolt lock right here now, one modification I really like is the one that I have done with my other rifle, which I plan to do with this one here, and that is, it's kind of cumbersome to release the bolt down here. So I'm going to put a bolt release in the bolt handle. Another modification is um, the Ruger, uh, the sights that the 1021 come with leave a lot to be desired and so I prefer to put the uh, tech sights on uh, or uh, a scope. Um, and the Ruger 1022 of course comes with uh, the scope mount which mounts right up here if you want to use the rifle with the scope. But the great thing about this new model, this is the 1022 takedown and this is the reason it's called the takedown what you want to do first is lock the bolt back, press this lever right here, turn the barrel counterclockwise, and as you can see, it, it comes apart. And the, this model comes with this nice carrying case. The barrel portion goes in here. The rest of the rifle goes in here. Now if you can also, if you have a scope on your rifle, it will fit in the case with the scope, in which case you would use this part over here. And this case comes with all of the takedown models. and. It gives you a very low profile. Also has these pockets here for you to put your extra magazines. The Ruger 1022 comes with one 10 round rotary magazine. The first thing you want to do before you leave the store is you want to buy another magazine. You'll need at least two magazines. The 
Ruger says that when you put the barrel together, making sure that it's unloaded and also pointing it in a safe direction at all times, you should run the bolt and dry fire the rifle a couple of times to make sure that the barrel is seated. It's easy to, remo to remove the barrel, but you have to remember that you have to lock the bolt back first. Put your thumb on this lever right here, pull it forward toward the muzzle and just slide it out. And by turning this little screw here, you can turn it to uh, turn it clockwise to loosen or counterclockwise to tighten to adjust the snugness of this fit because when you lock the barrel in, you want it to fit lock in snugly. Now in addition to the 10 round rotary magazines, you can also get 20 and 25 round magazines for the Ruger 1022. 1022. Here's the magazine release right here, just press forward. One thing I've noticed though is that this 25 round magazine does not actually fit into the takedown model because this area right here is thinner. Now I don't know about, this is a off-brand aftermarket magazine. This is not the Ruger. Ruger does make one of these and I don't know about the the Ruger. The Ruger may fit in there. I haven't checked that out yet. At Appleseed we teach the proper use of the sling which is very important for good marksmanship and we use the GI sling. Now the Ruger 1022 takedown did not come with sling bases. Here they are on my other 1022. But I'm going to have to install sling bases on my Ruger 1022 takedown. What I'll do is I'll drill a hole in here and install the sling base here. Now up here at this end, unlike my Deluxe Sportster model, which does not come with a barrel band, the takedown model comes with the barrel band here. There are a couple of ways you can go about putting a sling on here. One way is with this little piece right here. And what you do is you unscrew this and slide this piece in here like this. Now I tried that and I didn't like it because it made the barrel band fit loosely. The instructions with this said to file this down to make it fit properly. And since I'm not going to file that down, I decided to go with another type sling base here. First of all, I'm gonna remove the barrel band. Um, I don't like it there. It serves no purpose. And I'm going to drill a hole here and install the sling mount up here. Here it is. So I'm going to drill a hole here and install this type of sling base right here where this will look similar to my other 1022. You have to remember 
Before you can take it apart, you have to lock the bolt back. Now to drill the hole here, of course I'll have to take off the fore end stock. And what I'll do is carefully drill the hole right through here. And this is the sling mount or the sling base with the machine screw. I'll put this through here and put some Loctite on this and put the nut on the other side and may have to saw this machine screw off if it's too long. The other swivel base has a wood screw and it's a simple matter of screwing the proper size hole in here and then just screwing in the swivel. Here's my Ruger 1022 after installing the sling bases. You may wonder why I don't want the barrel band on there and the reason is when you put tension on your sling it can bend or flex this part of the rifle slightly and affect your accuracy and so this way without the barrel band the barrel is not so much wedded to the uh, forestock and the, so the forestock can flex a little bit without flexing the barrel. Now if you do get a, a GI sling and, and uh, these are the slings I recommend and these are the slings that we recommend at uh, Appleseed. Uh, make sure that you get the swivels with the one and a quarter inch um, swivels for the one and a quarter inch uh, slings because a lot of these swivels are one inch for one inch slings but the GI sling uh, is one and a quarter inches. I like these quick release type swivels because at Appleseed we teach proper sling use and we remove these the sling frequently to make the loop sling here for shooting when the left arm is supported such as in prone and sitting position. The Ruger 1022 the best selling rifle ever. Uh, Ruger has sold over 5 million of these rifles. The 1022 takedown with the black synthetic stock and stainless steel barrel is destined to become one of my favorite rifles. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.